we're going to power a heater and a heat gun off the same circuit. Then we're going to test the wire nut and see how hot this gets. And then we'll finish off with the Wago lever nut. How hot does this Wago lever nut get? And then the way that we'll actually measure the heat is with this FLIR thermal imaging camera that goes right in the end of your iPhone. Super handy. And this is the type of images it gives you. You just put your crosshairs on the point that you actually want to test. We can see the plug is about 84 degrees Fahrenheit. This is the baseline condition after five minutes of running. And I'll look inside to see the screw terminal. For the baseline, I really want to see that screw terminal where the hot conductor comes in. And the highest temperature I'm seeing there is about 84 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, I won't show you every interval. If we look at the graph itself. The baseline, as expected, was the lowest. The wire nut has a little bit more resistance in that connection. But the Wago lever nut, well, it has less contact surface area, creates more resistance, thus creates more heat. But it's all relative to what? So if we look at our chart itself, where we bring in our max temperature rating for both the wire nut and also the Wago 221 lever nut, bringing that in gives you a whole different perspective. Now you wouldn't want to see these components go over 221 degrees Fahrenheit because that would be outside of the design range. And you can see across all of these scenarios, we are well below the design range even with the 23 amp load for 20 minutes. So what do you think? I'm interested to hear your guys' feedback. For me, this gives me more than enough confidence to continue using the Wago 221 lever nuts and have full confidence that they're gonna stand up to anything I throw at them in my residential use at my own home. But again, the choice is yours. Hopefully this just gives you a little bit more information on your projects at home and what kind of wire connectors are you using.